This is the fully 3D printed direct drive racing steering wheel that I've built in my previous video. And today I will make it even better by improving the cooling, making the controls wireless and adding a much requested interchangeable round steering wheel to make it perfect for any driving style, from F1 to rally and drifting. Thanks to FlexiSpot and PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Starting off with cooling, the motor gets quite hot in long driving sessions at high power. This is mainly due to the total absence of vents to cool the stator, so I've opened the motor up and drilled a bunch of big holes both in the front and back to allow for some airflow that will passively cool the stator. If you wanted to go the extra mile, you can also add a fan that blows directly on the stator to cool it even more. This would allow you to run at 100% power without overheating. But I decided to stick to passive cooling since I'm very happy with the power at around 50%. With cooling sorted and working extremely nicely, we can move on working on the swappable wheel system. Obviously, a fully 3D printed round wheel will not be rigid enough, mainly due to the long, unsupported section on top. For that reason, I found that the only option is to have a laser cut steel frame that will support a bunch of 3D printed components to bring the wheel to the final shape. I know this isn't ideal due to the high price of custom laser cut parts, but was the only option I found reasonable. Also, thanks to PCBWay, you will be able to have this wheel frame cut for just 60 euros out of a 5mm stainless steel. This is an amazing price considering the material and size. PCBWay is my go-to website for any of my manufacturing needs, from metal 3D printing to CNC machining and laser cutting. They offer amazing prices and are currently celebrating their 11th anniversary, with amazing discounts and coupon codes. Check them out at the link below. Moving on with the build, we can assemble the round wheel by gluing the various 3D printed parts in place, also using some screws. To align everything and still be able to print every part without supports, I made a bunch of central pieces that ensure alignment between the front and back halves. The F1 style grips are the same exact story, with two steel frames onto which the 3D printed grips can be mounted. The central console also needs to change to accommodate for the new wheels, by providing four M6 holes onto which the various grips and wheels can be mounted, allowing for a super strong and secure connection and making it very easy to swap between the various wheel shapes. Upgrading the central hub is just a matter of uh, removing the old steering wheel, mounting the new central console in the same way and bringing over all the buttons. This time I decided not to use uh, pull-up resistors since I'm also changing the USB bottom board with a different wireless one and I think it will work without resistor, more on that in a moment. Another revision I made regards the quick release system, in fact, despite it working perfectly well, I found it simpler and more secure to just use clamps to hold the wheel to the desk. Speaking of desks, the FlexiSpot E7 Plus motorized desk is the perfect option if you want to get into sim racing and you don't have the space for a proper rig. It has an absurdly strong construction with literally zero wobble or flex in any direction. It is a super heavy duty and will not move, no matter what. The height adjustment is actually perfect for lowering the wheel closer to the ground, to allow for a more realistic driving position. And don't forget the general benefits that a standing desk brings to your life and productivity. FlexiSpot is also now running their mega sale with discounts of up to 65% and also the chance to win free products. Check them out at the link below. Last upgrade on the list is making the controls on the wheel wireless. Fortunately, I found this button board with the exact same footprint as the USB board that I'm currently using. So it is just a matter of swapping the two and adding a small 3V button battery to power everything. 
For that I used a PCB prototyping board and cut it to size before soldering on this battery cage, connecting a power switch and gluing it to the board with some hot glue. With this new board the resistors ended up not being needed and also there was no need to connect it to the motor housing for shielding, since there was no interference. With also that done, we can see how nicely this round wheel works when drifting, allowing it to freely slide under your hands without any cable to get tangled. I'm extremely glad that you guys pushed me to build a round wheel to be used with this simulator, since uh, even though I find F1 and GT Racing very fun, I think uh, it can also get old quite quickly. But rally driving and drifting are definitely more fun, allowing you to enjoy driving without the pressure of doing the best lap possible. Still, with this build you are just 4 screws away from an amazing F1 experience, which this platform is definitely able to provide. The 15 Nm of torque are plenty for any driving style and the fast and precise direct drive motor allow you to truly feel every detail of the car behavior, allowing you to precisely adjust it to your driving preference and style. The 7 Plus standing desk is also a true game changer, providing an amazingly strong and adjustable base to mount your wheel to. This desk will also be definitely more rigid than any entry-level sim racing cockpit available in the market. With that said, I have very big things planned, and I can't wait to bring them to you guys. Back to this build, I'm quite aware that needing a 60 euros laser cut piece of steel isn't quite cheap, and goes against the budget aim of this build. Just know that I'm not finished working on this concept, and will certainly find a way to make it the round wheel version cheaper maybe by adapting a cheap AliExpress wheel to this design. If you would like to build this wheel, you can find the links in the description below, where you will be able to purchase the files together with the software setup guide, wiring diagram and parts list. For the first month, this upgraded wheel with the swappable rims design will be included with the purchase of the previous wheel, and will be available for free to anyone that has already purchased it. After that I will leave the old wheel available for 15 euros and sell the new one for 20 euros. That's it for this video, I will see you in the next one!